On the second day of the conference, the lawyers were back to confront the question, the future of legal practice, are you ready? There was a stellar panel of local and international veterans, lawyers and other professionals to identify the future direction of the legal services industry and the ways in which lawyers need to adapt. The moderator led the panelists to do justice to the issue. So I want to start like this. Could I ask all of you the same question? If you imagine being in this conference in five years' time, so it would be the, the, the 17th or 16th conference, so you get in your time machine and it fast forwards you into a future, a brave future, what will the legal profession in Nigeria, and to some degree you can talk about your own country as well, um, what will it look like? What's the most clear picture you could probably paint for us? At this conference, I would expect to see a tech alley around the corner where we have uh, all the exhibitors. I'd expect to see some really exciting, interesting local Nigerian African tech companies displaying their wares and uh, demonstrating them and firms trying things out and buying some of that equipment or some of that software for their, for their use. I'd expect to see, I hope to see several non-Nigerian African law firms at this conference because I would hope that there would be far greater collaboration between uh, Nigerian firms and their fellow African counterparts which we don't see that much of. Um, I'd hope to see um, different sessions on new practice areas in law firms. I'd want, and, and, and also critically, that those practice areas would be led by young lawyers. Other members of the panel also weighed in. I don't think five years is long enough for the seismic change or shift that you, you know, we're thinking about. I think they will, it will continue to evolve, um, but what you're going to find it, my view will be probably better, more broadly educated young lawyers. I think their education will be much broader than it is today, uh, where beyond law, they will know a lot more about the way an economy works, the way business works. Um, they'll probably know a bit more about you know, practice management, financial management, and issues like that. So that's what I expect to see, and I hope the um, those who are doing the, the teaching and so on of, 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 of young lads will take that into account to, to give us broader you know, uh, you know, f, you know, uh, lawyers. The way we teach law in Nigerian law schools and uh, Nigerian universities, we need to change the way we, we, we teach. Uh, we need to change the structure of admission to the bar. What do you have to change about the way you teach? Uh, what no. are you talking about? So, so um, we hire lawyers in our firm. Um, half the lawyers uh, uh, or half the people you interview, um, two years down the road, you ask them what they're doing. Uh, they end up wanting to do fashion design or interior decoration. Uh, and you say to them, so why did you read law in the first place? Well, they wrote, read law because they thought it was a liberal arts degree. Um, you know, we can't do that because we're wasting uh, space for people who really want to practice law. In terms of content, I think we should be looking at more areas of specific interest, commercial interest, rather than the general thing, um, theme in terms of where do we see ourselves, the future of legal practice, which is quite generic. Um, um, uh, I also feel, as far as the SBL conference is concerned, it should have a more international feel. This conference has been going on for, this is the 11th one, and it's actually established a reputation for itself. So I think that the, the organizers should, should try and um, set it out there on, as an international conference and not just a local conference. In five years' time, we're going to have different people in the room because, because five of the local law firms will have merged with global law firms. And when we talk about global law firms, we almost imagine there's an aeroplane full of lawyers in London, New York, ready to come over and, and, and colonize. But of course, you know, um, lawyers can't be, can't be made and can't be destroyed. For me, it's like Einstein's uh, E equals MC squared. It will be a simple case that five of the major law firms here will have decided to partner with a, with a global law firm. 
We'll also have about five of the major law firms here in Lagos. We'll have done alliances, South African law firms, with regional law firms like ALN, or, or, or with, a, with a, you know, one of the African alliances. We've, done, we've recently done research of clients within the Nigerian market, and they tell us that they would like to give one or two law firms more legal work, but they can't because they're currently not, not big enough. So part of my prediction is that we will see a large amount of mergers within the Nigerian market because it's what the clients want. It's what the legal service delivery model requires. And I'm going to be rather cheeky here. If I, if I look at the logos behind me and I see Banwo, Aluka no Yobodi, Anudo Odoma, um, I can imagine three type of firms like that merging to be one of those classic domestic champions of the, of the Nigerian market. At the end of the session, participants agreed that change is inevitable and lawyers need to scale up to be a part of the looming brave future of legal practice.